I did my base face. Probably can't tell. All right, we're going to prime the eyes. I'm going to see through that. I'm going to use the putty primer, eye primer. And I'm going to use the Esome T38. I realized I do not like this for eyeshadow because it's so big. I kept <laughs> hitting my eyeball with the bristles. But I'm going to try it anyway for... <laughs> eye primer and the next time I use it I'm going to try it for under eye concealer because I'm not able to return it and so I do want to figure out how I like to use it best because I don't want to just waste it was 20 something dollars and so I don't just want to throw it away and sometimes you do just need to work with a product or a brush and figure out which way works best for you and so because I'm not able to return it, it's motivating me to figure out how do I best like to use this brush. So it's not a bad thing. I'm not always sure with how the primer is blending across my eye. I'm sure it would be easier if I did use my finger, but I don't like to get my fingers messy. I just don't. I remember when I used to go camping, a friend of mine said they were surprised that I like camping as much as I did. And I'm like, why? They're like, because you're so prissy. And I'm like, me? Prissy? I grew up a tomboy running around playing in the woods with one of my male cousins, digging through dirt. I was never into, like, the worm thing, and I'd, I'd never been fishing, so I'm like, I don't want to touch a, a fish, you know, just out the water and dealing with the worms and the hooks. So I guess in a way I am prissy, but with camping... I think it's because I would prepare for it. You know you're going to deal with bugs. You know you're going to be in the woods. You know, you just take your, your bug spray or whatever you use, your off spray. And so you know what you're getting into, which is the same with makeup. If you want to dig your fingers in it, then you know your fingers are going to get messy. But I don't want my fingers to be messy. So I'm going to just press in. And I have a cloth on my lap. With the rose that I ordered that didn't come, but now they said they want to send it. I'm hoping it just gives enough color up here for me to not have to do a brow bone highlight. Because with this one, which I believe the color is cream, it doesn't say on it what color it is. This just whole thing looks pasty. And so I feel like I have to do a brow bone highlight or put a neutral shade up here just to get rid of how that looks. I think I'm going to... I didn't pull out any brushes. Like, I am always so organized this is wonderful i'm just grabbing my esom brushes that i just purchased just because they are right here um well they're like the first ones i saw so i'm going to take excuse me for scratching this is the do i want to do my lid first just because i'm trying a new palette yeah let's do a, the lid first and actually i want to use different brushes because I think I'm going to do like in thirds or something just to get a feel for the different colors in this palette and so I'm pulling out my Real Techniques the, the slanted angle brushes the larger ones and I will pull out a small one as well so the first thing we're going to do with the bridal satin <laughs> I'm going to say, I think I'm going to just go, oh, I'm just really liking these colors. Look at that. Ah, oh, I think I'm going to just go across this bottom row. I really think that's what I want to do. And looking at this palette, if you have bridal satins or if you're interested in getting bridal satins, I don't know why I'm holding my arm up that way. You can do looks by rows. This can be your, your brow bone. This can be your crease. This can be your lid if you want to do a smoky look. You can do the same thing with this row, this row, this row. So this palette, I'm sorry, these are columns. <laughs> you can do looks by columns <laughs> or you can do by rows. Like this one, I really see a look. With this one, not so sure. Maybe these three and this as a brow bone highlight, depending on your skin tone. This bottom row, mostly for me, would probably in a, be in a corner highlight because as a brow bone highlights, that would be too light for me, except maybe this one. So I'm going to take this shade here on my inner corner using a flat angle brush and that's nice. I like that. If you have this palette and it's not even showing up on camera because it is primer, I can see it in the mirror down here. 
And I am dipping back and forth into the palette because it seems like it's not showing up over this primer. I should have used a Fenty primer, which is clear. But as I was saying before, I do like the Elf Putty Eye Primer because it conceals my, uh, my under eye. It conceals my eyelid discoloration in both corners. I have dark spots like right here. And the, the Putty Primer conceals that. The color corrects that. Okay. You, probably, you can probably only see it because it's shiny. <laughs> so we're going to move on to this shade here. And we're going to put that next to... When you wiggle your brush in it, there's no kick up, but I have a habit of tapping anyway, and I'm tapping, and there is shadow that is falling off onto the cloth I have here on my table. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. Oh my gosh. Yeah, make sure you tap your brush, because even though there's no kick up in the pan, it's definitely falling out when I tap it and better fall out on a cloth on your table than fall out on your face. Oh, I like this. Oh. Yes, I am gonna go back and do blending because I know that's looking like, what? I'm gonna take another um, angle brush and we're just gonna go into this color right here. This is what they really look like. So when I'm going like this, that's not the real tone. This, These are the tones. This is how it looks in person. This is how it looks in person, including this row here. So we're gonna take this shade here and put that next to, oh man, this is nice. I didn't mean to tap. As far high up as I did, that's because this is a bigger brush. I should have used a smaller brush. So we're going to go into it again. Tap, tap, tap. So even though I did have some disappointments with this palette, like I am really liking it so far. Like how it's going on, it feels like the other Viseart palettes. I am sure there was a formula change. Because otherwise, why would this one only be good for 24 months and all of the rounded ones good for 36 months? So there's definitely a change somewhere that was implemented in the formula just based on that. In my mind, that's how my mind works. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. I'm going to take... <laughs> I'm excited, y'all. <laughs> I'm looking for a brush to take. Yeah. I'm going to use this fluffy some something v34 and I am just going to lightly go in between the colors just to blend between the colors so that it doesn't look harsh I don't know if it's looking harsh on your end or not but on my end it's just like there's no blending I just like slap the colors on and that's it and this probably is mixing the colors because I'm using the same side of the brush to do all the blending. Ah, oh, how's that looking on your end? Excuse my nose. And <laughs> when people tilt, tilt their head back, I'm always like, oh, I'm glad their nose is clean. So I'm <laughs> like aware of when I tilt my head back that you can see into my brain. All right, I'm going to stick with this same brush and I'm going to go into the Warm Mattes palette and this is what this looks like in person. And I'm going to take this shade right here first with that same brush, dipping it straight in, and we're going to put that above the lid colors to blend out that line from when I place those lid colors. And you see how that just smooths all of that right out. Oh, I love Viseart shadows. And I was thinking how I have Natasha Denona Viseart, <laughs> and now I'm buying e.l.f. stuff. <laughs> so I was like, is there any in between? <laughs> and none of them I purchased full price for except for the Camel Palette, the five pan Natasha Denona Camel Palette. That one I paid full price for, I believe, and that one was $48. All of her other palettes I purchased during a sale. 
And the same with Viseart. I purchased them all during a sale. So if you have something on your list or something you want, you know, don't go for instant gratification. Just wait. I like how that looks. That just blended that really nice. And now I'm going to take a smaller brush and I'm going to go in with this shade right here. And I'm going to put that uh, sort of in the same place. <laughs> More directed toward the crease and not all the way above like that color I just put down. And so just wait for cells. You know, it's makeup, even though it's serious, and I know this is a job for a lot of people, if you're just a regular consumer like I am, it is really not that serious where you have to go out and pay full price for things. If you are a YouTuber or influencer, I see why they do it because they know that um, their subscribers want to see their opinions of new products and things like that And so they may just buy like a whole line of something new that just came out But if you're just a regular person like me, like is that really necessary? Do you need to buy an entire collection? And it's just you um, that fluffier brush adding no additional shadow Going in and further blending that So don't feel like oh I need to have I need to have it. It's makeup. You don't need it. You don't need it. You're beautiful the way you are. Welcome to the trollness. <laughs> and that's what Troll Nation is. Embracing that your imperfections are what makes you perfect. Your imperfections are what gives you character. Your imperfections are what makes you unique. Embrace that. Don't feel like you need to cover that up. No, I don't like my under eye bags, but I have bags. I've had bags under my eyes since I was in my 20s. Why? I don't know, but they're there. And even though I joke about them and I don't like them, they're there. It's a part of my face. If one day I woke up and had no bags, people would look at me strange. Like there's something different about you and I don't quite know what it is, but it's something a little off because they're used to seeing me as I am. And you guys too probably because every video I don't even wear makeup. <laughs> so you're like, okay, she's a troll today. I'm going to take this shade here as a brow bone highlight. Did I point at the right one? Yeah, this one next to the one that looks yellow. Using that same brush very lightly right here to cover up that putty primer. And I am sweating. I like this look. The next time I do this, oh, did I put my finger in it? I sure did. I'm going to go back with those lid colors because I want to take them up a little bit higher into the crease so that you can see them because right now you cannot see them. <gasps> Excuse me. So rude. <laughs> so I'm going to take, <laughs> and I can tell what brush I use because of the colors on the brush. So we're going to go back in with this shade right here and we're going to take that up into the crease. Gosh, I am glad I got this palette. Oh, <laughs> then I'm going to take the brush that had this shade on it. Oh, I didn't use that black yet. The black is shimmery, but I'm wondering if it's going to look shimmery once it's on my lid. So we're going to see. I think I'm going to do the outer corner with that dark color. Why am I acting like I'm only doing one eye? Oh my gosh, I am tripping. I'm really thinking I was just doing one eye. <laughs> I don't know if I had a brain fart and thought I was doing one look on one eye and one on the, on the other, but that was just really retarded. I shouldn't say that word. Going back with this brown. <laughs> oh goodness, I don't know what I was thinking. I really don't. Other than just trying to hurry up and get this done so that this video isn't too long. And because I'm talking, I won't be able to speed it up. Okay, this brush that had that second brown shade, I'm just going to blend the top of this, which really I should have used the brush that had that first light brown shade on it. I like this better. I like this a lot. I'm going to take a brush with no color and I'm just going to lightly just sweep in between just so there's no harsh line or hopefully no harsh line. And I'm being careful this time to use the same 
side brush with the same shadows and then I'm going to flip it over and blend that purple with the brown. Is that brown? Yeah. Sometimes I think I'm color dyslexic. That's not even a thing. Color deficient because I'm not good at describing color so I'll think something's one color and it's not. It's a different color. Okay. I like this! Ah. Alright so now I need a small brush. <laughs> Because we're going to take that, that shimmery black. Oh my goodness. I have all these brushes and I'm like, which one I'm going to take? I'm going to take, I don't know if I'm going to use that one. Ay, ay, ay. I'm going to speed through this because I'm going to figure out what brush I want to use. Alright, the brush I'm going to use is the Hourglass number 9 brush. And I'm going to take this shade here. Get an itch. And I'm gonna dip this in. And I could have used this for a liner. Let's see how this functions over top of this other shimmer in the outer corner. Okay. Okie dokie. I think it's translating. I'm feeling like I really have to push. My only concern with using this as a liner is because it's shimmery, I'm concerned with fallout if I use it as a liner. That is my concern. So this is directly into the crease, maybe like halfway over. Yeah, this is going on nice. I am having to apply some pressure though, but I think it's because of the shape of this brush. One side I always like, and then one side I don't. Alright, I'm going to take... Mm, that brush that had the brown on it. I think my phone just switched from internal to external, so if you saw a glitch, that's what that was. And I'm just going to blend that black. I am really liking this. I am really, really liking this. Oh my gosh. How is that looking on your side? Oh, and I'm loving this, this cheek color here. I think I'm really liking this one better. I do. Sticky because I didn't set my face. I just realized that I had, well, I just remembered that I didn't set my face. So we're going in with, oh, what do I want to use? Where's my liner brush? We're going to use Stila Smudge Pot. And, ah, sorry, trying to open it. <laughs> I'm going to use that as a liner. my upper lash line. I'm going to just wing it. Not a lot, just a little bit because I already have that black shadow there. So I don't feel like I need to do much over there. And this is the Inglot 30T brush. And yes, I know I just got quiet. I can hear my clock ticking. You know, this one I didn't wing, but uh, the other side I did, so now I gotta come and wing this side. why they always look different I need to practice that's why I know it's funny how I always say I don't know something and then I give an answer <laughs> self-reflection sometimes does not take long to do This 
this one I thought was perfect until I realized I winged over here because then I had to go back and wing this eye because I really didn't want to do a wing. But then you got to make them look the same or try to get them to look the same. And they definitely don't. This one's going straight and this one's going up. <laughs> But this is what we have. This is not a channel of perfection. Just for giggles. Mm. What is this? Gloss Balm and Fussy. This expires this month. And I know that because I put a label on it. I chose this one because it's a non-color. And I have color on my cheeks and color on my eyes. This I'm digging. I'm really digging this Bally Elf Putty blush. This side I like too. But in person it looks like I got punched in the face. When I do this it seems like it's smooth. It's straight. When I'm this way it looks like there's a gap right here. And I know it's just the shape of my face and maybe the lighting. But this, this one, I'm really, I'm really loving that one. So this is our look without mascara. I didn't do lower lash line. I am going to take that black, ooh, and I'm going to use this pencil here, eyeliner pencil. This is a Sephora. They don't sell it anymore. It's a silver handle one, so it's old. It says Smoky Eye number 24. So we're going to take this black right here. Or do I want to do a different color? No, let's just do black. And, ooh, that looks nice. And we're gonna put that on our lower lash line. Ooh. <laughs> oh, I thought my camera just cut off. That's why I look like that. <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. So I've only used four shades out of this palette this entire row and I am loving it. Oh my gosh. And it plays so well with the other Viseart palette too. I'm so happy. And I'm about to cry because I am just even more happy that I didn't pay full price for it. I just love a sale. I'm retired. <laughs> so I got to make my money count. <laughs> I'm loving this palette. I know I'm being silly right now. No additional <laughs> color on this brush. This is the one I use for my crease color. And I'm just going to lightly just blend. Oh my gosh. I am liking this. This brush is soft. Like I'm able to go all the way across without it dragging my skin. Oh. Oh. I am really emotional. <laughs> oh my gosh. I am loving this look. Look at this. So this is with the Viseart 03 Bridal Satin Palette and the Viseart Warm Matte Number 10 Palette. That's how I achieved this look today. And trying for the first time Elf Putty Blush in Caribbean on this cheek. And Elf Putty Blush in Bali on this cheek. I am so excited. This has enhanced my happiness. <laughs> And I'm going to go because I am just, I'm just so tickled. I'm so thrilled. If you have any questions about anything on my face, leave them below. If you have the Bridal Satin Viseart Palette, let me know how you're liking it. And that is it for this video. Thank you for being here. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video and share if 
You choose two, three. I'd appreciate it. Thank you.